Hey everybody, I'm Recycled and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 VR Modded Survival. So we're here in Home Plate and this is where I was doing my frame rate testing I talked about a little bit. I didn't show any of this, but anyway, this is what I was doing. I was just, uh, I put one of these disco balls up here or whatever you call it. And uh, I was just watching, you know, the frames go by to see if uh, indeed there were new frames being captured and stuff. But uh, basically, yeah, successful and um, haven't really used home plate very much. Otherwise, this is usually the area where I put all my crafting stuff. But um, yeah, that's there like that. And I guess uh, there's no real reason to take it down or anything. We were doing stuff at the Institute. So let's go there. And I wish I could find X688, but I guess he'll show up here eventually. But anyway, let's go to our thing. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do um, confidence man. So let's go to <laughs> Diamond City where we just were. But this time the game didn't crash. So let's go and talk to the Bob Rob Believe brothers. Uh oh, who's this? In the dugout in. Hey, that's get the lost. Oh, she doesn't what care about say? me because we a haven't done. What's it called? There. Yeah, there's another quest. Um, you have to walk into uh, the place up there. But we didn't do that. You gotta do the Morawski heist. Just a minute, Yetim. I am in middle of story. So then I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk. A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. I'm not making this I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. I think that's all you need to do. So you can talk to that guy, but you don't need to. This guy's not in jail yet. Yeah, we haven't done that uh, thing for Nick. All right, so what you do, you just witness that conversation, run around or something. I think that's far enough. Need new clothes? Oh, here we go. Quiet, you All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is what I tell you, Fee. Something must be done. Radio is bad for business. Makes customers unhappy. Either we have unhappy customers listening to bad DJ, or we have no music and customers have boredom. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. All right. That's <laughs> enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. He seemed pretty serious to me. No, no, no. He, he was only kidding. Right, Vadim? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Yeah, so they weren't really going to kill Travis. They were just having a laugh because Travis sucks on the radio, but they don't really care. It doesn't really matter. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, Fim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Confidence man. Damn sense. She's on a break right now. <laughs> well. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. See, there's he no shadow. A life. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself. Yes, believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Ever been in one? I can hold my own if that's what you mean. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Doug. Nothing too serious. 
Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after six o'clock and everything will be ready. Apparently it's the middle of the night. I didn't I even notice. But that's okay. We could just sit down and uh, wait until uh, 12. Oh, it's 6 a.m. Whoops. Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't glitch out. Look, 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 I don't want to be in trouble. I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? You tell him. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. I'm here to give you a hand. I, 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 I mean, I'm not really looking to cause, you know, trouble. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I... I that might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Uh, okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. It sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you going to say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you going to do, little man? I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Why am I doing this? Does it work? <laughs> eh, eh. Do I have to, uh... I don't think I can do this. Um, I'm practically invincible. Eh, eh. Am I in combat mode? Do I have to, uh... Eh, eh. Um, Travis, you have to do this. I can't hurt them. Yeah, I can't do it. It just doesn't work. Oh, hey, you did it. I turned my light on. Yeah, it's funny. Melee works, like, uh, normally. I still got a fist out. God, my jaw. Bullshit, man. Just bullshit. Yeah, you got beat this up by Travis. Bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? Beat it, lady. I'm just standing here. That guy's sitting on nothing. Can I, uh, stop having... Alright. Yeah, just regular hands. Jesus okay. Bar, I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. I don't want to talk to you. Oh. Um, hi. There. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. Usually when I do this quest lately, Travis pulls out a gun and shoots everyone. It's pretty funny. But the, the quest finishes normally. I knew you had it in you. God dang it. All right, well, let's try it again. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. I knew you had it in you. I can't, I can't believe it. You were right. Oh, I've, I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. Now talk to Vadim. 
I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for next part of foolproof plan? Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice indeed. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Oh, that's my weapon. <laughs> Miss? I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Would you like it if he had mentioned you? Well, yeah. I guess I would. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Oh, that's just a random guy dressed like Travis. Um, at the top of a Dean. This is terrible. No, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Yeah, we'll do it. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. We're so fast, yeah. she didn't even make it here What's yet. What's going on? I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? There oh. she is. Oh, man. Wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... it's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Look, I don't... I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. It's probably going to be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. I'm not... I'm, I'm not stupid. I know that. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Yup. I'm sure we've been there. We've definitely been there. Oh, thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Yep. Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good. They practically kill I everything mean, by accident. I can do this. <laughs> totally. Any, uh... Any last minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Well, I think you're essential, so it probably doesn't matter, but... I go in first, and you... Stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. Whatever you say. Yeah, so normally in a hostage situation, you want to make sure that no one hurts the hostage, but in this case, uh, no one will, so... What the... Um... Yeah, let's just alert them. <laughs> We're over here, you ding dong. 
Are we not hurting him? Do we have that much health? Set off a bomb. Good job. Oh, and there's one more. Where is he? Oh well, it doesn't matter. There's still a bad guy out there somewhere. Hey, magazine, it's picket fences. There we go. Where's Travis? Get over here, ding dong. There he is. You gonna talk to me? Is it because Travis ran uh <laughs> away? Oh, it's because there's one more guy to kill. We didn't kill everyone. Uh one of the guys that was up here, like, fell through the ground or something. <laughs> we need to find them and kill them. Right? We can't just talk to him? I think we should be able to talk to him. Alright, well, I'm gonna see OC out and we'll take care of this. Uh, somewhere out here. Uh, I don't see where else they could be. Can I go up there? This is so weird. On top of the, uh, elevator? Here he is. He was in the elevator. <laughs> All right, now we can talk to him. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't gonna leave you to these guys. You are good woman. <laughs> these idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> They... they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I... I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. <clears throat> Man. What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of junk around here. I guess I'll pick up the glass. Then we'll go talk to Father. Yeah, you can't talk to, um... Vadim until after you've killed Gouger and uh, Biff or whatever his name was. Bull. All right, now let's talk to Father. Well, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcasts, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Yeah, so you have to go to Diamond City and then solve a puzzle. Alright, so you open the box and you get the thingies. And then you put them uh, wherever. Hey. And if the green light Let's goes try. up, then, um, then you did it right. Wait. So first buttons, no. then dials, then tubes. Wong. Yeah, Travis isn't even here. That's funny. Usually he sits here and tells you like, Hey, what are you doing? This is weird. Whatever. <laughs> so now we go to the reactor. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then. The transmitter has been modified. Yep. Everything is in place. It's ready to go when we are. Good. Once the reactor is online, we'll cut into their broadcast. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friends, is the moment we've all worked towards. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start our reactor. 
No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. My mother and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. Turn it on. Uh, we should close this door or something. <laughs> Start her up. It's almost hard to believe. After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. Now that the reactor works, what's next for the Institute? We'll get to that. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as Director. It's happening. Oh no, everyone's well, talking to me because they're all in one place. Yeah, we have to go to another meeting. Well, there's a whole bunch of ways this can go, but I don't know all of them. So let's just go for it. I'll just save the game and we'll see how it goes. Although, actually, you know what? I think this is a critical juncture. I feel like I should go talk to Preston Garvey. Attend the Director of Meeting. Uh... <laughs> I think Preston is in a uh, sanctuary. Just want to make sure. Garvey. Thank you. I rescued that kidnapped settler. We've got another settlement on our side now. Good. Another win for the Minutemen. Keep it up, and pretty soon we'll have the whole Commonwealth behind us. If you've got time, something else has come up. I've fought the Gunners before, and something tells me this was just them probing the defenses. They're gonna need your help. Do what? Oh, Taffyton. Okay. Uh, I'm not even really sure. This place is completely defended. Please just wait. You're not with the gunners. Are you here to help us out? Yeah. I'm here to help. What's the problem? It's the gunners. We caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago, and we had a bit of a dust up. They ran off too easy once they saw we were going to fight back. Gunners never back down that quickly. If you can help us shore up our defenses, it sure would help us out a ton. You got super defenses. All done. I can't believe there's only one person here. I think my uh, recruitment things aren't working. <laughs> um, they're gonna attack now, right? It'll hold them off. I, These turrets will destroy the everything. This next one is, uh... you like Bob Let me get any XP. That was it? That was nothing. Talk to the people. Can't seem to do it. We won! There you go. Minutemen really know how to bring the fight. We won't forget what you've done for us. Oh, so there's supposed to be a uh, a beacon here, but for some reason it disappeared. Huh? Yeah, there's supposed to be this thing like right uh, right around here. <laughs> well, whatever. We'll just put another one right here. That's so weird. Yeah, now we control the radio beacon. We have one settler, and we want a lot more. Do it, please. We should have more than one settler here. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's go to the meeting. So basically what happens is that the, um... It's basically end game, and uh, they're gonna decide to destroy the railroad and the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. And uh, I don't want to destroy the railroad, so I'm not going to. And that's fine because of our mod. Otherwise, if you didn't have the mod, then you have to do it. Otherwise, you um can't really finish the game with the Institute. But anyway, every be the first to welcome make you a fine director. We're looking forward to, to working with you. Um, let's just get down to business. Hmm? Yes. Of course. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back. Oh, uh, we'll kick their ass. Here. <laughs> That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed, obviously there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. I'm sure the reactor will improve everyone's life, 
It's a great accomplishment. Yes, but it's not just that. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's just spit it out, shall we? The Directorate has decided that the Brotherhood of Steel need to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? Sounds like a great idea. Let's fuck them up. I agree. We hit them hard before they have time to react to our new position. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. As Director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? I'm not really sure, but, um... I've seen enough to know that weapons are the key to winning wars. Let's focus on weapons development. As you wish. The advanced systems folks will get to work immediately. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. As long as you respect our rules and policies, you might just succeed as our next director. We can do it. My compliments on getting V-592 back to us so quickly. We're making real progress. Thanks to you. The end of the line. Oh, this is when he does it. Okay, so... Yeah, because I got this mod. Uh, where the hell am I? <laughs> What's he doing down there? He's not. That's the, uh... The other thing. Where am I going? Oh, he's in here. We're moving around too fast. <laughs> he's still in there? Oh my god. Yeah, he's still walking oh, back. We run around so fast. Director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. Not really. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? Vertebrates are really annoying. It's fine. It's the only way we can ensure the Institute's safety. That makes it the right thing to do. I'm glad you agree. None what comes next will be easy. That conviction may help keep us all going. You know, Mother, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? Yeah, they're okay. I can't lie. They are allies. Well, I appreciate your honesty. They're not gonna hurt I won't anything. I ask for details. I'm sure I don't want to know. But these people, with their twisted ideology, they seek to undermine everything the Institute stands for. No, sure, really. You can see that. No. No. They want freedom for the sense. That's all. They're not a threat to the Institute. Of course, they claim they're about rights and freedom for synths. But those misguided notions have led to countless acts of violence. Surely you can see that you can no longer work with them. That the time has come to put an end to them. For our sake. For our future. I'm afraid this is an order. The railroad leadership needs to be eliminated. I expect a report when it's done. Um, actually... Son? The railroad has left us with no other option. Remember that. Oh, so... So at this part, it says, Kill Desdemona. But, because we have this mod... <laughs> so we're gonna go there, and we're gonna tell them that actually, no. So yeah, we're still friends. Carrington wants word. So if there were any more, uh, railroad quests that I wanted to do, then I'd have to go do them, but... I don't really care. Something on your mind? You don't look so good. Yeah. Um, the Institute... Well, yeah, so here the dialogue is, like, uh, really, uh, more, uh, specific because it's, uh, it's modded. The Institute has ordered me to kill you. All of you. I guess they consider us a real threat after all. I suppose we should be flattered. So really, the question is, what are you going to do about it? Um... Of course I'm not going to go through with it. So how do I deal with it? It's unfortunate things have progressed so fast. The Institute. You need to stall them. Buy time any way you can. And step up your operation with Patriot. That's all we can do. Good luck. I never even got the uh, mission for Patriot, but that's okay. Um, give me more. I'm gonna need more than that. Agreed. It's time for a gamble. A desperate one at that. It's clear you have the Institute's complete trust. And any story you come up with, 
won't be contradicted. We're doing everything we can to keep what remains of our organization alive. Oh yeah, see, so we didn't have to do it. The Institute. Fortunately, Tom has come up with a potential way to do it. It's a fusion pulse charge. Tinker Tom's rigged it to what? take out the reactor. I don't want to do that. Anything else within a few hundred Des. yards. No. Listen to me. My son is dying. They want me to take over the Institute. We can find a way to work together. To free the sense. Even if you're put in charge of our enemies, you can't change their nature. They're a slave-based society. They just put someone else in charge. Um... Sean was right. The Institute is the best hope for the future. And the Institute is paradise. Healthy people, clean, plenty to eat. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> Pam's already crunched the numbers on this scenario, though. Uh... Hey, leave my robot out of this. Robots can do simple tasks, sure, but... You need a human being to make the big decisions. Very well. You said you wanted to save synths. The Institute treats synths as property. As tools. Give them a chance at a real life. I have put our future. And the future of all synths. In your hands. I'm trusting you. Don't make me regret it. Okay, good. So now I don't have to destroy the Institute after she said that one thing and I filled the other quest. Okay, so this is the really crazy part that was added by the mod. The long march through the Institute. Succeed Sean, and then talk to Liam. I don't know. It's some version of the uh, railroad ending. And so, the work is done. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult for you. Yeah, there were a lot of different speech options. It was tough, yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. So, what exactly is going on? There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. Whatever it is, we can handle it. I believe so. But in this case, what matters most is how we handle it. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. Okay. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out in the world, Mother. And they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens? I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the we will teach them Whoops. that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. I they wish we'd do this know animation. better than to ever interfere with us again. You seem pretty convinced this will work. The Institute is nothing if not thorough. Dr. Watson should be in the lab. He will explain the details to you. Time is of the essence. Airship down. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. From ah, crap. Surplus power should translate to increased efficiency and productivity. Evan, how do we kill the Brotherhood? Dr. Watson? Did you need something? Yeah, I want to destroy the Brotherhood of Steel. Um... Sean says it's time. Oh, well, I guess it's been coming. I suppose we should get moving. Let's go, Rosalind. Sean says it's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. I know, I know, but we need to move quickly on this. To think I'd be above ground, suffering, I'm much better off here. Oh, you're the guy, that's T.S. Wallace. We'll need to update our safety procedures for the new reactor. Are, are we Wanna doing this? Wanna fill me in on what's happening? Dr. Orman has done most of the hands-on work, so I'll let her explain the basics to you. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting? I need to shower. <laughs> so, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? Yeah. I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. <laughs> We'd have just swarmed them with synths. 
But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. What sort of EM field? What's it doing? Basically, just scattering any suitable complex signals, like the ones from our relay. Oh, so those blue swirly close. things. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. Yeah, those blue things. We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And... Oh! I almost forgot. Take these. Oh, thanks. Grenades? Sure, I can always use grenades. No, no, they're not grenades. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. I know, right? I mean... Thanks. <laughs> I thought it was neat. But still, it's just to help. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? It's the Brotherhood's giant robot. Right. They think it's their ultimate weapon. We're going to show them it's ours. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past 10 years, and, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth, capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? With Liberty Prime on our side, that'll give us a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders. But he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden. And he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry, we'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you've got any questions, this is where you ought to ask. If not, they're probably ready for you upstairs in the relay room. No questions. Let's do this. I know right, what to do. Luck. I'll send word that you're on your way up. I've already started thinking about the next reactor. I'm convinced that antimatter is the way to go. Yeah, so this is actually going to be a lot of fun. Let's do it on the next episode. I'm cutting it here. So, if you've been watching, thanks. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.